In addition to allowing users to query the system with natural language, in OAC we can actually have the system interpret any visualization back to you in natural language as well. With just one click, we can have OAC summarize the meaningful information in any visualizations back to you in plain English. So that's all great, but most people don't spend their entire day in OAC. That's why we've opened up all these natural language capabilities to work across a multitude of channels. For example, when I'm at work, I'm usually interacting with my coworkers in Slack. So let me show you how OAC integrates seamlessly into Slack. So in the context of a regular conversation, all I need to do is invoke the OAC command and type the question that I had just like as if I was in OAC. Now you'll notice I made a couple of typos here on purpose just to highlight that the system is actually smart enough to autocorrect before it tries to process my query. So here you see that I was able to infer the political affiliation dimension along with my weighted count. I can see the detailed data if I want to. And I get, in addition to my data visualization, I get the corresponding natural language result back.